Hi guys, Matt here. I want to do a video on uh, truck gear. Uh, so the video is everything that I keep in the truck uh, on a daily basis. And this is tools, emergency supplies, self-defense, those type of things. The things I'm not showing is the papers in the glove box, uh, ink pens, mints, and gum, uh, that type of stuff in, this, in the center console. Uh, and then cell phone charger. Other than that, everything that I keep in the truck is right here on this counter. So it does seem like a lot. I'm gonna turn you around here so you can see. Or point down here so you can see actually. So we'll go through it a bit at a time here. I can move some of these things out of the way. Now, like I said, it does seem like a lot, but when you stop and think about it, uh, what are the things that you use on a daily basis? What are the things that you could use? What are the things that you would need if you were broke down, if you're in an emergency, anything like that? So first is the tool bag. Uh, there's a Husky bag. I've had it for years and years and years. It's been beaten and abused and still keeps on. So it works great. So uh, inside I have some uh, electrical tape. And these are things that you can use to fix things around the house. They can, you can use to fix things at a rental property, things that you can use to fix your car if you break down, uh, you know, build minor things, uh, you know, if you need to, if you're somewhere. So I'm gonna scoot this forward a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna take all these things out. Um, you know what most of these tools are, but the staple uh, of my tool bags are vice grips. I have vice grips in pretty much every single bag anywhere. I have them in the basement. I have them in the garage. I have them in this bag. I have them all over. So you use them for so many different things. So vice grips, of course, flashlight, some uh, pipe tape, uh, gas line cement, wire strippers, hammer, uh, big channel locks, small ones, the big ones. If you need something big that won't move, or something needs a little more encouragement to move. Got that. Uh, got pipe cutters. Got a bag with tie down straps, the ratchet ones like go in the back of the truck. Got a bag of those screwdrivers, wire cutters, um, wire strippers, uh, crescent wrenches, scrapers, paint scrapers, putty knives. And another staple of all my bags and everything is wire cutters. You'll see these everywhere. I use them for everything. Not everything, but they come in useful for a pinch duct tape, and the third staple, WD-40. If you had three things, if you only had to keep three things in your truck, I'd, nah, I'm going to up that a little bit, about five things or so. Twist ties, duct tape, WD-40, a flashlight, and a multi-tool. Those are the things I would keep in your car. Anybody can fit them in their car. They don't take up a lot of room. You can put them in a little bag, um, but those are the things to keep in your car. Um, small screw bits, couple tape measures, a pry bar, utility knife, razor blade, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put this stuff back in here and we'll move on to the next box. Next thing is a little tray. So I don't always keep this little tray in the truck. I'll, I'll come and go with it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, the front middle console of the truck folds up and there's a storage compartment in there about this size. So a lot of times I'll, I'll just stick this right in there. So it's out of the way. I never, you know, open it or uh, get into it unless I need something, so. But water, I always keep a couple in the back of the truck. Uh, usually in the side of this or in this gray tote, I'll show you, or both. Baby wipes, they're good for cleaning anything, cleaning messes, going fishing, uh, changing or checking oil. You know, if, if somebody spills something in the car, um, they're always good for that. This is the miscellaneous bag. I'm going to go through here. Got a spare car charger. Got a uh, charger for a light. I'll show you, it's in here. 
It, it's a pretty common charger uh, for lights though. So got a uh, trailer uh, hitch. Uh, um, bolt. Got a lip balm, two of those. I don't ever use them, but just in case they are flammable if you need to start a fire. Um, nasal uh, moisturizer if you're you know, run, running nose stuff during winter, you can put some on there, it won't dry it out. Keychain if you need separating. Just some random stuff I keep in there in case I need it. Survival um, bracelet I got as a gift. Um, the reason I keep it in there is that it's a bit of paracord if I needed it in a pinch. Got a small pair of bandage scissors. They'll cut anything pretty much. Got emergency light from Harbor Freight. These things are great. You get them free with any purchase. And I always throw them in the truck and keep them in there, keep them in the trailers, that type of stuff too. So you never know when you'll need light. Got Sheffield multi-tool. It's a super cheap one, but has all the basics if you needed it. There might be another one in that gray tote too. It is coming useful. Mini pry bar, can opener, wire stripper, oxygen uh, tank, uh, shut off, on off, keep that in there. A chamois, whatever, this is off brand chamois. It's been in here years and years and years. Don't really use it, but you never know when you will. this got uh, rubber cement fix a flat uh, the reamer the uh, spare uh, rubber insert uh, patch kits I need to get some more of those and a uh, tire pressure gauge you'd be surprised how often you use the tire repair kits we have a Kawasaki mule uh, that apparently loves going through thorns and you get small holes in those fairly frequently and just in case you need them, they work well for car tires too. All right, so this is uh, just a simple Maxpedition bag. Um, in the front here, I have a little bit of paracord if needed it. The front pouch here, I have ink pen, Leatherman sidekick, small first aid kit. Um, Band-Aids, Tylenol, surgical pad, surgical dressing, larger Band-Aids, ABD, surgical pad, if you had a bigger wound, uh, and then skin glue for a, you know, laceration that can't be sutured at the time. These back in here. Um, fireproof matches in a watertight container. Has a little bit of tinder in here as well as uh, additional uh, striker on there. Advil, small canister with a couple quarters in it. A little bit of hand sanitizer. Lighter, uh, hand moisturizer, another chapstick, Speedy Sharp. So this is a great little tool uh, for sharpening knives. It's super, you know, handy in that it's uh, really small. It can travel with you. I, like I said, just stick in here. Um, and a few passes on this will sharpen your blade right up so there are other night sharpeners I like better but in a pinch this would work great so keep that in there got Altoids box with uh, um, Victoria Knox mini champ I think I've had this forever I don't carry it on my keychain it's small enough to but I just don't like knife on my keychain. So, got a little bit of dental floss in case you need it for anything. Got a fire starter, fire steel with striker. Keep that in there just in case. 
Got a small Victoria Knox knife. Got another small Victoria Knox knife. I got this one actually from my wife for Christmas, I believe, one year. Um, the reason I like this one is it has nail clippers on here. Flip it over. You can get a great pair of nail clippers. Um, also has uh, tweezers and a toothpick along with scissors and a blade uh, and all that. So I like it because of the nail clippers though. I don't think I have anything back in this other pocket. I don't. Nope. All right, so that's it on this. Put all this stuff back in here. Close it back up. And on the back here, I have another pair of surgical shears. They work great for anything. They will cut through pretty much anything, including pennies, if you needed to for some reason. But most people don't. All right, so next up is My basically emergency part kit. Other than the tools that are in my tool bag, which always stay in there, um, this is the basics. I have a few other things I add during winter. I have a, a, a drawstring bag with winter clothes, uh, uh, basically Carhartt pants, shirt, jacket, socks, and then I have boots that I throw in there during winter. Other than that, it's pretty much just this. Recurring theme, zip ties. Lumbar support for the back, if needed. If the back's causing some problems. Um, jerry rig. I don't know if you've ever seen these. If you haven't, they're great. So basically, uh, wire, uh, sorry, not wire, metal ring on the end of strap. You can take it over anything, put it around a pipe, a bar, a tree branch, anything like that. Let's see if you're in camera. There you go. Use my arm as the tree branch. Go like that. Strap it around, lock it back, and you have a good leverage point. You can hook a winch to it. You can um, raise a deer up from it, you know, if you need to, if you don't have anything else. Um, a lot of different uses for it. Back brace. Oh, window sun visor, jumper cables, a couple trash bags. Um, umbrella, ice scraper, three pairs of gloves, um, kind of warm-ish, uh, work gloves, and then heavy-duty leather insulated. Got a tarp, a couple more trash bags, a couple granola bars to go with the water that you've seen off and on throughout here, a couple packs of light sticks. This is the flashlight that the charger works for. You can hang it up, you can, has a magnetic base, you can sit down on something, you can stick it to the side of a car, it has that, and then it also has uh, the Ford flashlight. Another multi-tool. Beanie, another umbrella. Uh, car tire pump, uh, also has a flashlight in the front of it. This one works off of the uh, outlet. Oh, used to be known as cigarette lighter. Got a Sharpie and a pencil. So this is a car pump, car tire pump. Um, it's battery operated. One of the best gifts I ever got. Got this from my mother-in-law. And we use this all the time uh, for like the mule and, you know, low tires or anything like that. But uh, basically has, I think it's what, 24 volt uh, battery. Um, you, Plug the charger right into the top of it. I've only charged it once since I've had it, and I've had it, what, two years? So, um, set your PSI on here. And let it go, and it'll automatically stop when it hits that PSI that you uh, put in there. But that, that tool has been a lifesaver. Put this back in here. We'll put this stuff away and we'll get to the truck bag. And last thing we have here is my truck bag. Kind of a go bag, if you will. Um, 
Let me open it up here and we'll just start. So on the outside, I have carabiners. I love carabiners. I use them for everything. The ones I really like is the night eyes. Um, I like those and then a heavy weight one here if need to lift something heavy. But the night eyes ones just come in useful. They're multiple different sizes, easy to use and they hold up well. Also have a mini little flashlight and laser pointer here. Don't really need it much except you know in those few and far between uh, times where you need to find keys, something like that. Comes in useful hanging off the edge. You don't have to go dig in a pouch for it. All right, so nothing in this top compartment. So in this first compartment here, I have knife sharpener, the diamond file. Love this one, it works really well, gets things super, super sharp, and it's super cheap too. Life straw. Got a fixed blade, Essie Azula. A couple of empty small Altoids cans, uh, just in case you need them for anything. Got two spare magazines for Glock 19. A lighter, an electric lighter. Also, uh, it, it charges via USB, and I've had this in here for two plus years, still has a charge. Never charged it. Don't smoke, but I got it as a gift from my mother-in-law as well. Uh, and it, it definitely uh, lives in the bag and will come in useful. I've used it a few times to start fire, but. Um, Streamlight Protect 2L, one of the best flashlights. I have a couple of these, they work really well. Um, one stays in here all the time. Two ink pens. Got a basic lock picking set. You never know when you might need it. That's all the things in the front. It is. So we'll go to uh, the hidden compartment here. If you haven't seen my other video on this bag, uh, Moab, um, check it out. The one thing I did leave out, which is kind of the main benefit of this bag, is it has a hidden compartment for concealed carry. Back here, open, and you can access firearm. So this is a Glock 19, it is loaded. Um, so I'll leave it in the holster. Has full magazine here, uh, and two more. Um, so these are 15 round magazines. Uh, sorry, I lied. No, they are, yeah. 15 round magazines each. On the top here, have sunglasses. We'll go on to the next compartment. Uh, look at that, another multi-tool. I have 100 rounds of nine millimeter to add. Got two more bottles of water. Got Gator Eyes, magnetic uh, mini LED lights. These things are great. They're not super, super bright, but they work in a pinch. Um, and you can clip them onto anything and they have a little magnet on the back. You can do that too. All right, so I think that's it. As if it wasn't enough, so. Um, only other things I have with me, you know, on a daily basis, other than these things is my watch, wallet, keys, and then usually another pocket knife or this multi-tool, nine times out of 10. If it's not on me, I stick it in the bag though. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.